thank you for being here um, till this point and thank you for um, following me on my singing journey. Um, you must have heard about the NSARS movement and um, I love that this, um, this NSARS protest actually brought a lot of attention because this is something we've been doing as Nigerians for, in, for all our lives. Like the brutality, everything has been happening and it has always been swept under the rug. It's been something we just learned to tolerate. And living, life should not be tolerated. And I'm really happy that there's a lot of, I mean, the protests went up around and we got a lot of attention, but quite frankly, nothing happened. And if you are not um, a Nigerian or if you are just learning about the NSAS for the first time, you could Google uh, CNN, you could Google a lot of news outlet, international news outlet. They have the news coverage, but I, I I, I feel as if I can do a 10 hour <laughs> a 10 hour um, video to really explain the issues of Nigeria. Um, what I would just want to say is that we should care for one another. If you're not Nigerian, if you're not African, it doesn't mean it's not your business. It's your business, please. Life is being lost. A lot of injustice, a lot of corruption is happening in Nigeria. And if you can do something, if you're an advocate, please do something because Nigeria looks like, for me, it looks like a game reserve. It's, it's more like a jungle. You try to, I mean, it's, it's blessed with a lot of beautiful things. I wouldn't lie, we're blessed with so many resources and it's very, very painful that we don't even get to walk through them. It's more like if you have a dream in Nigeria, it crumbles right before your eye. You always have to go out of the country to fulfill your dream, which is unfair. So, um, I, I, I composed this, um, I didn't compose the national anthem of course, but it just, it was a, a cry for help, it was a cry um, for God to assist us in our country and um, I pray he does because we've tried all the means that we know how to, we've done a peaceful protest, we have prayed, we've fasted and it looks like nothing is happening and it's, 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 it's really discouraging, so I pray God answers our prayer and thank you for your support, for the many Americans who really joined the NSAS, um, for the many international celebrities who really said something about this. Um, we are grateful. Thank you and please keep it up. It doesn't end at that. Uh, the fact that we've been forced to stop the protest. Um, I don't even want to talk about the Leki massacre. It's another... It's so painful. So, some people were shot during the protest, and presumably, we know it's the government, but they deny it. We don't have a proof at this point, but God sees everything, and we pray that He shows Himself. Oh God of Just you and your families 
You spend your time and money outside your country. Now tell me, if every country be like Niger, where would you run to? Your youths are crying out for a change. You pull the trigger and deny. You have no empathy for the harm you've done to us. We cannot take this no more, God. Show yourself. Oh, God, I Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, please like and share this video, um, do something about the incest protests, please um, let the word out that we need help in Nigeria, we need a lot of help. You know, it means a lot to know that we are not in isolation, so thank you. Please like, subscribe, share this video, let me know what you want me to cover. Thank you.